It's an age-old tradition, appealing to all generations. Evergreen fir trees have been used to lift winter gloom for thousands of years. They're still the focus of modern Christmas festivities. But many are now asking how to source them more sustainably. The season to celebrate is also the time to cut Christmas trees. Up to 14,000 are prepared for sale at this family-run farm in a village called Christmas Common. So is there an environmental consequence? All these trees are grabbing carbon dioxide and expelling oxygen. And yes, of course, when we cut a tree down, that one ceases to do it, but we've got another little one in the ground there ready already to replace it. 120,000 trees stretch across this farmland as far as the eye can see. Five types of firs and spruces. This is the traditional way of farming Christmas trees. They'll be cut down and sold for the festive season, and after Christmas, they'll be thrown away. But in the next fields, there are hundreds of new young trees growing to replace them. The farm plants more than they sell. Some reach their full potential, sequesting extra carbon. But other factors determine emissions from cut trees too. If it's going to a home near to where it's grown, uh, if it's recycled or reused, um, then there's a much higher likelihood of there being a net balance of emissions. An average sized plastic tree is more harmful. It's roughly equivalent to about 40 kilograms of greenhouse gas emissions. Um, so that impact is more than twice than that of a real tree. Potted trees are now becoming a popular alternative. Somewhere between 5 and 10 percent of our sales are now are potted trees. I mean genuinely pot grown trees which will live and you can put in your garden at the end of the Christmas. This company has taken that idea further. Customers rent a growing tree for Christmas and then return it. We did it last year and it was brilliant. The kids absolutely loved it and the fact that it's a living tree as well is really nice. The idea has taken off. All rental trees here are fully booked. It was more the wastage element that we just felt was such a shame. But then when we looked into it and realised the environmental impact, it was like, OK, you know, there must be a different way to do Christmas trees. How we dispose of a tree matters too. Any real variety makes useful compost. But in the midst of Covid misery, many will enjoy brightening their home, whatever the source. <laughs>